What's going on guys and welcome back, well I say welcome back, welcome to Fury Farms, well welcome back to Fury Farms but it's Farming Simulator 2017, now this would have been episode 2 but I realised after I did the full episode of episode 1, I actually realised I didn't record it, so I was sitting, I was talking to myself and I was doing all the things I usually do when I do a video, and then once I tried looking at like the videos and which ones I wanted to do and edit and put up, I realised I didn't actually record the first episode. So we don't have an episode one, which is going to be this one. So now we do have episode one, so there is a lot of stuff I've done. I was I won't say a lot. I did some stuff I've done. What I've done is basically you start off on Sosnovka. Uh, we have two maps. I chose Sosnovka because, again, I don't like to use trains in a farming simulator game. I want to use tractors and I want to use harvesters and so on and so forth. So I want Sosnovka, plus it seems to be like a better looking map for me. Uh, you don't start off with much, you start off with little. And what we've done is Farm 19, when we started off, was full of wheat. So we basically just harvested the wheat. Um, which is in this tractor here. White was harvesting, I hired a worker to harvest. White was doing that, I had a worker seeding farm 14, which is over that way, with canola. Because at the minute, from what I can find, sunflower and canola seem to sell the best at the minute, which canola used to, was always been like that anyway. So, we're going to have 14 and 19 both having canola. But I have, what we did was, I had canola stored in my storage. So I basically set the workers off, got into that tractor with a trailer, hightailed, or filled it with canola, hightailed it down to, let me make sure, yeah, I went from here, which you can see the arrow. So I'm here, this is my farm. Oh, this is my farmyard, these are my farms. I drove all the way down over a rickety bridge here which is actually quite funky round here and down to the transport company and dropped it off and i got 9500 or 600 for i think it was 95 percent canola so it wasn't a full trailer it was like 95 percent and i actually got a decent amount it's like 9000 and odd and then just as we got back to about here um from coming back it's turned around in the top right and it said that my worker was full and it, it was halfway through. So we had to drive all the way down to the farm 19. When we got from here, and which was actually quite convenient because coming back, we get to 19, we fill the trailer up, it was on 85%. So then we drove down to the silo and we filled it up to 100% and then we let the worker carry on. And then we literally went from the yard, went down this road, down here, and then down to this grain elevator to sell off the wheat, which we got like 4,000 and odd for that. I think it was like 4,300. And then we drove all the way back and we literally emptied out that. He'd finished on 14, so that's all seeded, as you can see. And it's got canola in it as it's color coordinated, which is really nice and helpful. That's got canola that had wheat no longer does we have to cultivate it so we sold everything up he's nice and done what we nice what we're gonna do is we're going to drop no. and drop that off and we're gonna go set a worker to cultivate so yeah and it's just a little rundown of what I did um, and I didn't record it I just like sat here did everything the way I usually do it, I just didn't hit the record button, um, which <laughs> isn't the smartest thing in the world, but it happens. So where I thought we had an episode one, we will, it'll just be this one, so yeah. It's more interesting. Just to give you the rundown of everything, it's interesting to know that I did that, so yeah. Um, 
also what I would like to say just before we actually get into the full video is or we'll drop a worker on here is I have a lot of games that I'm going to be uploading so I've got a lot of series coming through one of them um, as you can tell the name of it is well I'm Fiore uh, my YouTube is Fiore Games and it's basically Fury games because I've got a lot of games that I want to play. I know I'm not going to be able to do a series on all of them all at once. But it just gives me that... I don't, I'm not sure which way to play. I just know it's like it gives me one of them of... Well, I've got all these games. I'm enjoying playing all... I enjoy playing games. I really do. I don't know anyone who doesn't. Um and i enjoy streaming and i enjoy recording so plus i also enjoy talking which i don't know some people might not like the sound of my voice i personally do but again if you don't like the sound of your own voice you're screwed either way <laughs> so yeah um so yeah we've got a lot of games one of them we've got minecraft we're gonna do like three different series on Minecraft um, because it's modded Minecraft one is Project Ozone 2 which is out uh, already being edited and published and uploaded to the site or to you, our YouTube channel we've got Farming Simulator 17 which again is in process we've got Football Manager 2017 which will be a future one uh, League of Legends, the Bronze Escape is coming back uh, because it's a new season in the LOL. We're basically new placements. See which Bronze division we get put in, whether it's um, Bronze Five or Bronze Four. Might have a slight chance of getting into Bronze Three. Maybe a slight chance. Not sure. So we're gonna try that. Uh, bring Bronze Escape back because I enjoyed doing that one as well. I'm gonna get another worker going here. Um, hang on, that is putting canola in. Please say uh, I left that on canola. Yeah, it's on canola. Right, good. So we've got them three, four games to come. Plus, there's another modded Minecraft. It's, it's I say it's Minecraft. It's more of an MMORPG Minecraft. Um, it's an RPG online. It's called Wingcraft. You've probably heard of it. You could pick it up on the Curse app, which I use a lot. Uh, what else have we got coming? Also got Construction Simulator 2015. We're going to pick up from where we left off on that one because I have took a long break from YouTube, and that's only because my computer did break on me. Like it didn't break on me, it just it outdated itself to the point where when I was running things it would overheat. So I fixed all that. That's running perfectly. We're back up and running and we're going strong. So the computer's fixed. We've got a lot more games to come. I have got games, other games as well. I want to start doing one on Rust, but to do it on Rust it has to be like um I don't know, it has to be like a, something you do constantly because with Rust you can only get servers within either two weeks or a month the the, the wipe your complete progress so I think we'll do a series on Rust later on down the line which can be quite interesting but then I don't know we'll see with that one we have got another game as well, we've got Rising World which to me is like a more graphically updated version of Minecraft but it's actually really fun I had a little go of it and thought yeah this is definitely a fun game and the graphics are brilliant so there is that like I say we've got a lot of games to come um, and we're going to enjoy playing them all and hopefully we can get some other people to join in and play the games with us that's something I'm looking forward to getting done as well and I think because we're actually doing nothing um, oh we don't actually have a vehicle we've got both tractors running uh, we have that, <laughs> where's the shop? 
Uh, the shop's up there. Can we run to that shop? Well, we're going to have to, really. What I'm looking at doing... Um, because, like I said, I've played this... Um, can we take a shortcut to that shop? Yeah, we can, straight over here. Basically, I've played this um, on the other map. I looked at both maps because it is 2017... Help a block by an object. Give it two minutes if it doesn't drop. I'll give it a minute if it doesn't drop down. I'm gonna go help him. Is he moving again? Yeah, they're moving again. That's good. They're probably both just blocking each other. So basically, what we did is it came out. Oh, when did it come out? It came out a couple of weeks ago. Um. I think it was 25th of October this game came out. So it's not even been out a month yet. So yeah, there's not many mods. I have looked through them. I can't find certain mods that I want. Um, so yeah, if there's any mods that you want me to get, drop it in the comments. Just let me know and I'll pick them up. I am trying to get hold of the rental mod. That is one that I do want because it'll be a lot cheaper than just running to the shop and buying stuff. Especially when we don't have a tractor to use because we use them both. So yeah, um... I'm going to keep looking because it's not even been a month yet and I do enjoy the game so I'm going to be looking at trying to get more mods to add into the game uh, but it's going to be an interesting one like I say because what we're basically doing at the minute is when you start on the other server you pretty much you have a lot or the other map you have a lot you have trains you have a, you have a vehicle to drive in like you have a, a pickup wagon um, and you have a couple of tractors and a harvester now to me it's just easier because where I've just ran all the way here to the shop you don't do that in the other one you've got you literally have a car Ooh, is any sales on? no always best to check in our garage we have two tractors and a harvester and that's it on this map on the other one you have a lot of things and I like a challenge, so I want to see, personally, if I go bankrupt, or if I can actually do this. And that's what we have. We have the pickup rodeo, which is 22,000. Now, yeah, it allows you to travel from thingy, but is there a rent? Because it says 20, or 20 pounds per day. Or is that just because you got the vehicle? But that is a lot. Twenty-two thousand is a lot. Considering we've only got twenty-nine thousand, that's a lot of monies. So basically, um, we have to look at some sort of mode of transportation for certain things. And the trucks—that's what I want to look at. Because if I did new trucks in, as you can see, there's not just a man truck like there was in the last one. There's like four trucks. It's actually quite decent looking trucks. I mean, I like this truck. I really do. But this one might be the one that takes it. I mean, because you look at the wheels. they got tractor wheels on, so they got better grip. So, yeah. That's later on down the line. What I was looking for is a sprayer. Can we pick up a cheap sprayer? Yes, we can. Um, that's five and a half grand. Wow. That's brand new. And that looks mean. That looks like it's going to do two sides at once. <laughs> that re that looks really nice. Um, but so does the price. So 5500 Can we pick up a cheap tractor? 45000 is the cheapest tractor. Is that real? You can't be 45000 for a cheap tractor. I'm sure you could pick one up for cheaper. It looked like that on the last one. That's the cheapest, eh? Wow. Alright, the modded ones that I got for buying or pre purchasing of these 170,000 and 314,000. Now, I pre purchased this game. Personally, when you pre purchase a game, I think you should either A, get early access, or B, if they've added stuff in it. That you get for the pre-purchase, you should get either one 
at a discounted price. So that's 170,000. Because I pre purchased, I should be able to pick that up for about 50,000, but I'm not. Or you should get it for free. And that's the way I think about it is like, because I pre purchased, that's what I should have got, but I didn't. And that's the track that we're going for. 87,000 on a Massey Ferguson. When I last had one of them in the last game, it was zero because of the mod that I got. For some reason, the tractor cost nothing. Not anymore. It's an 87,000 tractor. And this was the tractor we started off. We started off with three of these, or four. And they're 45,000. So that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Right. Uh, yeah. What is a skid steer loader? I have no idea. So this is, they've added quite a lot of things into it. Um, we do need to get this sprayer. So I think it's worth purchasing this. Oh, you can lease it. Right. Now that changes a lot. I didn't notice that. Can I lease a tractor? Oh, that changes a lot. That's why I can't find a rental mod because it's already added in. So yes, let's see. Can we lease this? 4,950. So it's 450 per day. Base cost. Do we lease it? Wheel set up standard or narrow tires. It just adds more money to it. Yeah, 4,950. I think we're going to lease that tractor. And pick up the lease vehicle from the store. I think you get it for a day. Or per day. Can you take it back? Alright, let's go back. And we want this. Now, I don't know whether I should just buy this outright. It's only... F yeah, we'll buy the sprayer outright, but we'll lease the tractor. Right, so that's that. Um, that changes a lot of things, it really does. Right, so where is my... Oh, it's inside. Ooh, I'm liking that. Right, so this... Does it give us a timer on the lease? Let's back it up into this. Um... Right, yeah, so we are on the wrong way. It doesn't give us a timer. See, that's the one thing that I, I know on the last one we did have. Um, the last one we had a rental tool that actually had a timer on it. Can you attach this or am I just like not driving it properly? Let's, ah, there we go. Right, okay, we're attached. Wow, is that my car? Are you going to let me have that car? Or is that just a worker? Right. Okay, so we came here with no tractor. We ran all the way from the base, hoping to pick up a tractor. And we have, we've picked up a tractor on lease. Um... Does it tell you on the tractor how long's left on it? Ooh. That might be a problem if it's not going to tell me. But, oh, I can't even drive. Right, okay, right. We have got a tractor. We've got another tractor, which is always good. And we've got the fact that we can lease tractors, um, which is helpful. We just have to keep running to the shop to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to drive properly. We're going to go fill up the sprayer and we're going to go spray farm 14. That's what we're going to go do. I think that's mine there as well. I think it is. We'll have a look at that in a bit. It's here, so if I turn here. Refill. No, so that's not too bad. No, I'm a fool. Right. Is this one of them that... 
sprays from something. I have no idea what this is gonna spray like, so. I like the sound of this tractor now, though. It never sounds like it's on the last one. What's going on? Why is it not spraying? attach it to the front and then we can start making it spray because it just doesn't seem to be working. Oh is this just the holding tank that goes on the back? This is in the sprayer. I think I made a little mistake. Oh, in fact I know I made a little mistake. This goes on the back. That's not what we wanted. I think the other thing we are actually going to have to go and lease. So it is literally drive straight back to the shop. We've got 17,000. This is going to be a bit tricky. Because I picked it up for 5,500. I didn't realise because I've not, I was actually like flabbergasted at a lot of other stuff of the fact that I couldn't lease. And I'm there trying to think, oh, I need a rental thing. So it looks like majority of the mods that were put into 2015 have been put into the actual game, which I'm not going to argue about. It's really good. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back to the shop. I'm going to have to look to see if we can actually pick up a sprayer. And we're going to be looking at probably leasing the sprayer. You know, because it's going to go on the front. We'll have that on the back, which will be an extra refill, so when I want to run out. Um, I do like the sound of this tractor, I really do. Right, so, Mr. Tractor. Let's see if we can get a sprayer. Which is this. 24,000. I should have realised it being 5,000. That was just the one that goes on the back. So if we select that, we'll lease it for 2,600. That's definitely a lot better. And we get into the lease tractor. And we'll back up like that. And we'll literally put this on the front. Just like that. Now with this being on the front, if I go in that view, I can't see anything, so I'm going to have to drive like this back to the base, but I will put on my little flashy light, which I don't think it has one. I thought every tractor has a flashlight, like a I'm working type light, the orange light above the tractor, this one doesn't seem to have one. That's just stupid. Alright, so we don't have a flash, flashing light. Um, we're not even on the main side of the road. But we do have a sprayer and we have an attachment for the back of the tractor the farthest sprayer which means we've got a lot more fill in the sprayer which isn't too bad. Um, it's going to help the crops grow faster. Uh, that's what I'm pretty sure that's what a sprayer does. It, fer it basically fertilizes the crops so they, they grow faster which we really need it to grow faster because if, if not we need to just stop hiring people um, and then do it all ourselves which again I don't mind doing it does take a while and I don't mind doing it it gives me something to do it's a lot of content anyway it's always that just cost me money to fill the sprayer up and it only wow Cost me 1700 to fill that sprayer up. We could go bankrupt really fast here, you know.
What am I doing? I'm doing it the wrong way. No wonder it's not saying attach. Now I don't want to actually watch in this would actually think that I didn't play 2015 <laughs> because of the way I'm doing it. But I did, I played 2015 quite a lot. I enjoyed it. It's one of the main reasons I went and bought this one. But I am playing rather new bit. So that needs to stop. Right, so we go on the front, we unfold the sprayer, which is going to have a big spray. If I remember rightly, definitely go straight over that. Just add a little bit over the overhang, doesn't really matter. Right, turn on the sprayer and we're just going to fertilise. Right, so we're going to do this bit, and what we're going to do is once we've done this, because I'm pretty... Oh no, you can't hire a worker to do this. On the last one you couldn't, which is actually quite interesting. We're not going to hire a worker because it seems to be taking our money down quite rapid. Um, once A and H, worker A and worker H are done on that one, um, I'll look into going over there and spraying it. If we go below 5,000, then we might have to take certain things off and sell them because otherwise we'll end up bankrupt and I don't want to go bankrupt in the first episode or in the first two or three episodes into the actual game we will have to try and get some canola done quite fast and every I might actually look in to see what I've got um, in the storage because we will have to sell some stuff 800 pound just in wage so yeah, we're definitely going to have to sell some stuff. Um, so we're going to have to look to see what we've got in storage and basically go sell it. I know in that trailer I have got some wheat, so I might be able to fill the rest of the wheat and go sell some of that. Uh, so that's not going to be too bad of a problem. The worst part is... Well, the best part is this is nearly done now. There we go. Uh, the sprayer is actually quite wide so you can get quite a lot of the farm done which is really good it really has annoyed me that it doesn't have a flashy on this tractor we did only lease it so we can literally we have only got it for 24 hours I'm hoping because if we haven't got it for 24 hours and we've got it for longer that means that's a lot of money because uh, we leased the sprayer as well so it's going to be quite a lot of money, to be honest with you. Um, I think that's more money than we've got. Yeah, this is pretty much near enough done, so that's not too bad. And it's not used too much up, it's only used 8% so far, so I reckon by the time this is done, it'll use 12% on the farm. Which means we're not going to be spending too much money on the actual fertilizer itself because we paid the 5500 for the attachment to the back. It means we have a lot more in the fertilizer, which is always better, but we could have been more money efficient. Well, I say it's just it's like it's a, it's a new game, so I'm just starting off on a new game, so I've got to get the feel to it all. And if we do go bankrupt, then worst comes to it we just sell one of the tractors or we sell one of the things we've already bought so this sprayer at the back might have to go oh look at that popped up that's not actually too bad how could they pop up that fast though I think it's because the fertilizer made it do it well they never fertilized this bit Go. That's all that fertilized. I mean, I've seen people when they've been on the farms, um, they've basically turned around and they've gone old oh, bold. You have to fertilize each stage. I could spend all that time fertilizing each stage of it. Oh, that's grown before they're even done. But then if you fertilize each stage, you like slowing down time, fertilizing, speeding up time, fertilizing, and that's a lot. What we'll do here, because that's already grown, we'll unfold the fertilizer. 
In fact, no. I'm not going to fertilise this one. So, I'm going to test something. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So, we are going to detach everything off this just in case. Or to detach the back one. Um, so, detach them. Because I am going to speed up time. Once some tractors are done here, I will speed up time. Um, right, so he's nearly done. Oh, that's what I could have done with as a jet wash. I don't know if I've got one in the base, but I can have a look around. Do I have a jet wash? We're looking for a jet wash. Uh, I don't like dirty tractors. I really don't. And across the road. I'm pretty sure I own this little bit of land. I'm pretty damn sure I do. But I'm also pretty sure that we don't have a jet wash. What's this? Getting rid of straw and hay. Right, so if we did straw bales, that's where we sell them. So yeah, it's not like that I own it. It's just somewhere to get rid of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this looks like cows. Yeah. This is where the cows would go. So, that's uh, interesting to know. This is where you could make some silage. Or chaff. <laughs> nice. Fill level chaff. Which is 0%. So, yeah. It doesn't look like we've got a jet wash anywhere. Which means I'm going to have to look into trying to buy one. Which is not something I'm looking forward to. But well, what we are going to do is we're going to jump into this one because he's going to be done soon. So we're going to go make some money because we have literally lost some monies. So you missed our done. Thank you. And this, tra this tractor has been really working hard. Look at the state of it. Look at the dirt on that. And because it's been taking long, I hope the H have completed their task. I understand that. I hope they got a nice amount of money. Um... Do is just drop the cultivator there, and then go all the way over to here. And sometimes I will go into the inside view. Sometimes I'll drive on the outside view. It's not a personal preference. I just forget to press the button most of the time. So, um, start filling. See if we can get it full. No, we've got 94%. Right, this is part where we go. Which place is selling or buying for the most? Transport company. Their prices are going down, their prices are coming up. But the grain elevator. Oh, no, I went to the grain elevator. It was the village grain elevator I should have went to before. So. Grain elevator. I think if we go to the village grain elevator with only 609, uh, 612. Where's the village grain elevator? That's only there. So that's actually more efficiently quicker. So what we need to do is quickly drive to the village grain elevator, which I went to the last, to, on the last one I went down to the grain elevator when I should have went to the village grain elevator so that was my mistake I wasn't again I'm not paying attention as much as I should be so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly drive up to A and then I'm gonna empty it out and then I'm gonna drive back um, I'm pretty sure this tractor goes quite quick I mean the other one did the green one sounded really nice and I don't remember it sounding that good um, uh, on the last one that might just be me but I'm pretty sure it never sounded that good because I like the sound of cars, tractors um, vehicles uh, just a little fun fact is I was a well I am a fully qualified mechanic it's just very hard to get a job in mechanics when you don't have the experience but you only have the qualifications I sort of fell on my ass on that one. 
But hey ho, never mind. At least if I ever get my own driving license, I will know how to fix my own car. So there's always that plus side. And if I ever get my own car, I can always fiddle about with it just for the fun of it. Because it's always fun to tinker. That's why I'm good at building PCs, which is what I do on a side thing, is I build my own PC all the time. I'm fiddling about with that. Every six weeks I'll open up my PC. Uh, I'll strip it down piece by piece from the inside and I'll give it a nice clean and then I'll put it all back together just because I know I can and I like tinkering with certain stuff like electronics and stuff like that so a little insight into what I can do but yeah back to the game what we're doing is literally just driving back to the farmyard and yeah, I think it's that we we did earn. I think from that we earned like four grand. Is it four grand? I think it was four thousand. or it was five thousand. Something like that. Uh, but what we have to do now is we're gonna have to look and see what else we've got in storage because I think that was all the wheat we had. We don't have any more wheat. The canola is growing. Uh, Mr. A seems to be done so if we just park this here and click into no it's nearly done so what we're going to do is we're literally we're going to wrap it up there and why i think we'll do it to help a finishing off so yeah this has been an eventful one and i can explain at the beginning of the video I, it was meant to be episode 2 but it's not, it's episode 1 so again, thanks for watching I appreciate everyone who clicks on my videos, who watches them it means a lot to me for you to watch it means a hell of a lot more because you can hit that like button it doesn't do nothing other than showing me the support and showing me love that people are still watching and they continue to watch and they're liking my content so please do hit that like button it means a lot to me Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. That means even more. Because um, there's a hell of a lot more content to come. Like we, to come, like we ex explained at the beginning of the video, we got a lot of games. A lot. And we're going to do a lot more. So, yeah. Please do subscribe. Hit that like button. Drop any comments that you've got. And I will see you in my next video.